Let's get you out of here. Head to the next room and walk over to the fireplace. Crouch down and mosey on out of there. Go down the hall, pick up the ring, and shimmy on through. And welcome to the castle. Get used to it, you'll be here for a minute. In a nutshell, you'll need to find four masks to fit on these statues. Simple enough. Besides looting everything you can in each room, be sure to try and unlock every door you see. It will help you in the long run, especially when you're trying to run away. Anyway, head up the curved staircase and make a right, and go to the door with the face and creepy kids on it. Go to your key items and look at the ring you found, pop the eye out and pop it into the door, and be greeted by one of the daughters. Go through the hallway, into the last room, jump down, survive, or what ever reason, go down the hall and crawl through here. Once Lady D walks away, you can enter the tasting room. Go down the stairs and you'll find the first puzzle. Just shoot or slash the swinging brazier to ignite the unlit ones, and open sesame. Now you're in the dungeon area filled with strange torture devices, loot, scary bags that fall down, and vampire rejects. Shoot them, stab them, and go on your merry way. Go up the stairs, ignore the Dr. Robotnik door for now, and meet up with a daughter. Go up the stairs, watch the cutscene, then unload on her. Try and keep your distance. Use the shotgun to push her away, and she'll eventually go down. Go into the kitchen and pick up the Sanguis Virginis. Next, go into the hallway, and don't forget to pick up the recoil compensator. Look at that. Progress. Go into the dining room, unlock the door, walk into the main hall, go up the stairs, and into the wine room. Place the wine bottle on the altar, and go through the secret room, and grab the courtyard key. Head downstairs, say hello to daughter, walk out into the courtyard, cross it, make a right, and go through these doors. Go up the stairs and grab the map, and enter the room with the four statues in the pool of... Blood? Wine? Probably blood. To solve this puzzle, have the two women face each other, the group facing the horseman, and the horseman facing the robed woman. Once the blood wine drains, go down the stairs and down the ladder. Kill the goat, cause fuck it. Wade through the blood wine and kill more vampire rejects. Then go up the lift and the first door on your left will be the safe room. Save or don't, I'm not your dad. Get to this window and watch this cutscene. Enter the room, go to this corner, pick up the key, and unlock the door. Oh, hello, Lady D. And now you even try to oh. steal my property! Ah, damn. Oh, well, I guess we're here now. Enter the room, go through this crawl space, and unlock this door. Enter this room, and, uh, get familiar with it. Learn the loops. Head to the door, interact with the switch, and, um... Well, that sucks. Now you gotta run. Keep your distance and loop back to the door. Open the door, get your hand back, and walk through, and basically turn around and go through the opening Lady D made. Go down the stairs, open the door, and recover your first mask. I know, I forgot about them too. Ride the elevator up and watch this masterpiece unfold. Fuck yeah. Vampire rejects are out and about in the courtyard now, and honestly, just ignore them. Go back to the main house, go upstairs, avoid Lady D, take a right, and go into the wooden carved door. Trying to work up my Say hello to the daughter and go through this door. And there is another mask, but now you're trapped. Crawl through the fireplace and head up the stairs. Grab some loot and get ready for your second daughter fight. Move this bookcase and blow off the wall with a pipe bomb. 
Once again, just shoot the shit out of her, she'll go down eventually. Above the fireplace, grab the animal skull, and then you can head back. Go to where you found the mask, unscrew the plaque on the skull, and stick that bad boy into the statue. Work of art. From the courtyard, head to this door, grab the map, unlock the door, and head upstairs. Kill the reject, claim the ball, and hold on to it for now. Head downstairs and prepare for what could have been the hardest puzzle in the game. Too bad it's just a trial and error. Complete the puzzle to get the Dr. Robotnik key. Head back upstairs and look for the Robotnik insignia on the door. Head on in and now it's time for the final daughter fight. The trick to this fight is to open the glass ceiling in the center of the room. The switch can be found on one of the columns. Open it and just shoot her. If it closes, just pop it back open, continue shooting, and then she'll be dead. Walk through the double doors and grab your third mask. After that, go through this lovely skeleton door to the room with a giant painting of Lady D and five-ish hidden bells. All you need to do is hit them all. One is directly in front of you once you enter the room. And another one is on top of the cabinet in front of the smaller painting. Go upstairs and look outside to shoot the third bell, then shoot the covered chandelier to get the fourth bell. Finally, time it right and shoot the fifth bell on the pendulum. The painting now opens up. Walk on in, climb the ladder, and collect a treasure map on the table. Keep walking to get the sniper rifle and head onto the roof. There are a bunch of gargoyles here, so use your newly acquired sniper to take them out. Or just kill them with a shotgun, whatever makes you happy. Move across the rooftops and climb these stairs and go on the zip line. There you will find the final mask. Head down the ladder, down the elevator, and now you're ready to get the hell out of here. But before you leave, let's do two quick housekeeping things. The ball diorama game and the treasure map. Next to the four statues is a room where the Duke is hanging out. In there is the diorama. Use the ball here and get it into the glowing hole. It's pretty annoying. You gotta take your time with this, and eventually you'll get it. Now for the treasure map. First, go back upstairs into the room where the animal skull is on the statue. Go through the drawers and locate the silver ring. Do not sell it. You'll thank me later. Next, go back to the dungeon that's connected to the kitchen. And then go through the Robotnik door. You'll see a very familiar puzzle, the swinging braziers. Pipe bomb the wall to expose the flame, then hit the brazier to swing it into the flame to ignite it. Now, I think you're supposed to hit them in a specific way to swing into each other, but it wasn't working for me. I got frustrated and threw a pipe bomb, and for whatever reason, that solved the puzzle. Yay, lateral thinking? Regardless, claim your reward and head back to the Duke. Now, if you listen to me, combine the Azure Eye and the Silver Ring to create a new treasure that will sell significantly more than independently. You're welcome. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to suck up on ammo and healing cause it's time to fight the boss. Go back to the angel statues and place the masks on them. Unlock the door and head on out. Walk out to the chapel, claim the dagger, get caught, get stab, stab back, watch Lady D transform, still have conflicting feelings for her, take a joyride and then get ready for the fight. The boss fight is pretty simple on paper. Use the sniper to shoot the humanoid body from a distance, then use your pistol or shotgun whenever she's close. She's pretty aggressive when she's on the ground, so always keep moving. Eventually, you'll climb some stairs, reducing your mobility. Just unload everything into her. She'll go down. You too, but she breaks your fall. And congratulations, you have successfully survived the castle. You're the one who's cursed. 
freely. Ethan Winters, everyone. Truly a fucking poet.